Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to dive in into talking about the Well Summer Chicken. Everything you need to know about that breed as far as their egg laying, disposition, health issues, if any, and if it's the right breed for your flock. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, you know the drill. Without further ado, let's get into it. These beautiful birds are underrepresented in the backyard world of chickens. It's a great shame as they have many outstanding attributes for the small homesteader as we shall see. They are a fairly recent addition to chicken breeds being born less than 100 years ago in the Netherlands. They are popular in the UK and Australia, but have yet to have a huge following here in the US, which is surprising since they are an advertising superstar. So stay tuned to learn all you need to know about well summers. So let's dive into the history. The breed of the chicken is known as the well summer and has only been in existence, like I said before, a little less than 100 years. It was created around the village of Welsum near Deventer in the Netherlands as a dual purpose bird in the post-World War I era. The Netherlands was home to many land raised varieties and some of these varieties were bred with standard chickens such as the Partridge Cochin, Partridge Wyandotte, Partridge Leghorn, Barnvelder, and Rhode Island Red to become the well summer breed. Of course, there is some disagreement over the true original breeds with some people believing that the Crowed, Langshan, Brahma, and possibly the Malay having made a genetic contribution as well. We'll never know for sure. The year of its debut was 1921 at the Hague's World Poultry Congress, where it was eagerly greeted by Dutch and other European poultry enthusiasts. The Dutch Well Summers Breed Club was formed in 1927 to continue to improve and refine the breed. The town of Wellsum erected a statue of the bird that brought them fame and a small fortune as a memorial to the creation of this lovely bird. Let's go through the appearance. To say the bird has an overall partridge feather pattern does a disservice to the bird. While the pattern is partridge, it's quite beautiful in an understated way. Over most of the body, the coloring is dark brown with light brown, white feather, shafts noticeably throughout. The neck and nape feathers are gold brown color with darker brown shading, giving the appearance of a golden mantle. The rooster is very different and very handsome. His hackles and saddle feathers are chestnut brown and free flowing. His sickles, under feathers and chest are lustrous beetle green coloring. The well summer is a single comb bird. It should show five points. The comb wattles and earlobes should all be red. They have a short horn black colored beak. The bird has yellow skin and shanks that are clean of feathers. There are four toes on each foot. Eyes are reddish bay in color. It's a robust bird that sports a full breast, long flat back and an upright stance. The hen weighs in around six pounds and the rooster at around seven. Now let's talk about the breed standard. The Dutch standard for this breed was set in 1924. They were admitted to the Poultry Club of Great Britain in 1930. They were classified as soft feathered light. In 1935, they won the British Best Utility Breed Award over all comers. They were finally admitted to the American Poultry Association in 1991, where they were classified as continental. The recognized variety is partridge, but there are also silver duck wing and gold duck wing varieties out there. Some of the disqualifying factors can be white earlobes, feathers on the shanks and irregular points on the comb. The American Bantam Association classifies them as a single comb, clean legged chicken. The Bantam variety of Well Summers was created in the 1930s in both England and Germany. It lays a lighter colored egg than its standard counterpart. Now let's talk about the temperament of a Well Summer chicken. They are intelligent birds, also calm, friendly, and docile. My rooster will eat from my hand and I've never had any territorial problems with him. Despite the fact that they are sturdy birds, they are not overly pushy with other breeds. I would place them somewhere between the middle and top of the pecking order. On the negative side, these birds can be noisy. They are ones who shout the loudest when they feel the mood upon them or something is upsetting them. They love the forage in the yard and are not great flowers, so they can be confined in an area with minimal fencing if desired. Well, summers prefer the cooler weather, so are good for chilly northern climates, but they will tolerate heat as long as they have somewhere cool to go. Let's talk about the egg laying and broodiness of this chicken. Different sources have a huge variation in egg production numbers, anywhere from 160 to 250 eggs per year. Generally speaking, the higher the egg output, the less pure the bird is. They do tend to drop or stop production over the winter months, but pick right up again during the spring. My well summers have put out around four eggs per week during their prime years. 
However, it's not the quantity, but the visual quality of the eggs that are stunning. The eggs should be a dark, rich terracotta brown, sometimes with dark speckles. The pigmentation of the egg is so rich that you can wipe it off with your fingers when, when cleaning the eggs if you aren't careful. They are not known to be broody and they are rotten mothers by all accounts. Anyway, if you desire to hatch some, use your best broody for the job or an incubator. All right, let's talk about auto sexing in well summers. Auto sexing in chickens was first studied by Dr. R. Punnett in the 1920s in Cambridge, England. He theorized that the gene which controlled the expression of barred color patterns was different in male and female chickens. The male would receive two barred genes, whereas females only get one. This would mean that the male chicks were lighter than the females. His theory was proven correct, and he was later able to create auto-sexing breeds such as the cream leg bar. With well summers, girls will show a darker, more distinct pattern in a darker head, while the boys will tend to have broken, fuzzier pattern. It is estimated that there are around two dozen auto-sexing breeds around the world currently. Now, what is the difference between auto-sex and sex link? Auto-sex chicks come from parents of the same breed. Examples include well summers, barred Plymouth rocks, California grays. Sex link chicks are made from parents of two separate breeds. Examples include golden comets, which can come from Rhode Island reds or New Hampshire rooster and combine that with a white rock hen. And then the other option as an example is the black rock, which can be made by a Rhode Island red rooster and a barred rock hen. Single most important difference between auto sexing and sex links is that the auto sex are the same breed, so therefore breed true. Sex links are a combination of two different breeds, so the sex link chicks will not breed true. As far as the known health issues, the roosters have large combs and wattles, which can be prone to frostbite, so keep a careful eye on them during the colder days of winter. While summers are usually robust and healthy with no unusual health concerns or issues, other than the usual parasites that bother poultry, they are a sturdy breed under normal circumstances well summers live to be around nine years of age so is the well summer for you the well summer is a good addition to the flock if you want spotted terracotta eggs it was also bred originally as a dual purpose hen so it does dress out at a respectable weight they're in the top 10 of foragers and will supplement their feed well with tasty garden morsels if you allow them to. They will tolerate confinement but prefer to wander. They are allowed to forage. They are very self-sufficient birds and their coloring helps to camouflage them from predators. They are friendly but not necessarily a lap chicken but will tolerate being picked up. They will follow you around if they think you have treats for them. So to summarize, if these beauties are good enough for Prince Charles, they must be special. He has kept a flock of these birds for many years now and he is the royal patron of the British well summer club i have enjoyed my small flock of wellies and they are very personable although they are now getting to be old ladies the area where they fall down is the diminished egg production in winter however if you prefer to let your ladies rest over the winter months they will serve you well laying steadily for around three years they are generally quiet steady and dependable breeds let us know in the comments section below if you keep any well summers that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening if you find our content interesting if you learned something new please be sure to like the video subscribe to the youtube channel and with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon